All right, in this segment, I'm going to talk about creating a surface from an XML file. Is that all right with you? Okay, then let's get going. Now, what's an XML file, Rick? Well, let me tell you. I'm glad you asked. Okay, let me show you what one looks like. Here's an XML file. It's like it's like it was placed there earlier by somebody, just for us. Okay. Now, I'm going to open this up. Uh, just in a text editor, but take a look. It looks very suspiciously like an HTML file, and it's kind of like uh, an HTML file on steroids, right? It's got a lot of uh, extra features that it stores. You can store all kinds of uh, Civil 3 objects in, a, in an XML file. You can store points, surfaces, alignments, uh, profile data, you name it, okay? And it's all stored in there very nice, so it's good to... Uh, migrate from project to project using the XML file. It's good to archive projects uh, if that uh, is if you're short of storage space. It's also a good way to back up projects as well. So uh, that's why I like XML files. They're, they're a great tool and they come in handy for a lot of different purposes. Now, uh, when I create an XML file, uh, or sorry, a surface from an a XML file, I don't do it the standard way. Normally we would uh, go this route where we right click on surfaces in our prospector tab, create a surface and then define it. But if you take a look under the definitions, there's nothing there that says XML file. Is there? No, there isn't. So we can't do that. All right, we can't create a surface that way from an XML file. We have to go to the insert tab. That's right. And then I find uh, in the insert tab under the import palette, the land XML section. I'm going to click that land XML and then I browse for my XML file and there it is and I say open and it comes up with this little box right and in this case it shows me all the different objects that are stored in that land XML file there could be lots of other stuff too like I said you can store uh, points and alignments and all kinds of other stuff in this case it's just surfaces and if I expand it out uh, there's the surface okay that's what it's called there's my surface and uh, I'm going to say OK. There's nothing else in there. I'm going to leave all the settings the same and I'm going to say OK. And there's my surface, folks. Look at it. Cool. It's, that was so easy, wasn't it? Now, there is one drawback to XML surfaces. All right. As I said before, there's nothing in the definition for XML files. So that means that you should have, you know, don't get rid of this file here, okay? Keep it around because you you want to make sure that uh, you still have it uh, as a base for your surface. Now, if you check it out, when I create an XML surface, it automatically creates this little camera there. That camera means that there's a surface snapshot created. And you can create surface snapshots yourself just by right-clicking and go and create snapshots. And what a snapshot is, is it kind of freezes that surface at that moment in time, which means that anything that happened before that snapshot uh, was created uh, is irrelevant. So for instance, if I've got a snapshot on my surface like I do now, and this XML file gets deleted, or maybe it moves, or the name gets changed, no problem. I still have my surface. I can still work with it uh, because I've got a snapshot created. Now, you've got to be careful because if some maniac goes in here and removes the snapshot, you've got a big problem, right? Because now you've got to go dig up this file, and hopefully nobody's deleted it in the meantime, and uh, add it in again. So if I go into the surface properties, uh, this is important, the definition tab here. In my definition tab, uh, there it is, XML file. And if anything happens to that, that XML file, if it gets moved or the name gets changed or it gets deleted, then there'll be a little warning symbol there saying, wait a minute, that file is not there anymore. Don't get rid of that snapshot. So if it does get moved or, or the name changes or something, you can just re-path back to it there. So always check the definition, okay? The definition is very handy. It tells you how that snap, how that object was created, if there's a snapshot currently on there, okay? If I want to remove the snapshot but not delete it, uncheck, apply, and then rebuild, okay? Now, uh, again, be careful because if something happens to that XML file, you've got uh, some trouble. So that's how you can create a surface through an XML file. And uh, once you got it built, it's business as usual. You can do whatever you like with it. Thanks for watching. Bye.